Good morning internet, uh, right well I've just finished digging up loads of plants in the back garden uh, that'll be on the Weiss channel, I'll stick that up there somewhere up the top up there, up there um, but now it's time to have a little look at the roadster um, some of the bulbs are out and obviously I've got to get it mot that should be hopefully next week uh, it's Saturday today, the 12th, something like that um, so yeah, got to get it mot would it also needs a good polish, but I'm not too worried about that. It's, it's apparently going to rain later. Uh, surprise, surprise. Um, tomorrow's going to be better. So today he's just sorting out the little electrical gremlins. Now I did notice in the back, um, there's a few wires that have been chopped, spliced and messed about with. Mm, it might be that, but we'll check the bulbs first, see where we go. Now, I'm led to believe that to get the lights out, it's quite simple. You just take that out. Um, and that feels loose anyway. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, and then it just pops out, so we will see. So it didn't take much to get the screw out, so in theory now, that should just pop out. Uh, I think I need a flat head in there or something like that. Bear with. So yeah, basically it's just a flat head in there. Give it a push and uh, it unclips like that. Quite easy. Right, let's, uh, let's get these bulbs checked. So yeah, as you can see, that one's not illuminated. Um, that one is. So let's get the bulb out and let's have a look. Right, visually, the bulb looks okay, but yeah, that don't look so good in there. So um, let's give it a clean up first of all. Right, well, no difference with the clean up. Um, little concerning it as black tape in here, uh, and I think I think as I said before, there. Uh, there has been some work going on with the wiring, so yeah, we could be in for the long haul here. Right, test the ball next, and um, yeah, see what that yields for me. Well, that was a bit of a challenge. <laughs> As you can see now, got it all back in again. All the lights are working, including the reversing light. Um, but yeah, I mean, the common theme online when you look about these cars is the build quality, and I've got to say, yeah, even getting this light on, it's, oh, it's plasticky and uh, yeah, it's not nice. <laughs> it's pretty cheaply made, but uh, anyway, right. The uh, the only bit that really caused me any problems was um, getting all of these. Yeah, I um, I had to buy a couple of what I know is stop tail bulbs, and um, I went to four different shops. <sighs> um, yeah, it seems there's no demand for them anymore. Well, I've got demand for them. So that's not true. Right, let's get this all buttoned up. Ah, so the lights are all, all, all in situ and bolted up and yeah, I did some work on putting new clips in there to hold those screws in better and tighten everything up. But the next little job is a loose bumper. Now what I have found is these little clips were missing out of here. So I'm just in the process putting a new clip in uh, on the other side and that should hopefully tighten it up again. So as always it's little steps but um, yeah got the bumper a lot more solid now uh, got those clips in uh, put the number plate lights in properly because they weren't uh, quite right I think I've done all right today um, yeah have a quick check around it but I think by well it's definitely ready for the MOT so hopefully next week we'll get it up there and uh, get a new ticket on it hopefully and finished uh, well not quite the next little job I want to do is this roof. Now the roof goes back fine, but when it goes forward again, um, it sticks right about here. Um, I can't see anything obvious that's wrong with it, and um, there seems to be plenty of grease on it, but I'm going to give it a good douse with some penetrating oil and just see where that takes me. So let's try and explain. Um, oh, okay. Boop. Yeah, there you go. Goes back okay. And so I want to grease the rails up, so we'll take it down anyway. Um, but yeah, it just seems coming back up again, not so good. Now, good thing about this, 
and to get to the rails nice and easy we uh, click on the old button bring that down there you go these come off just like that <laughs> marvelous right stuck some silicon and spray grease in there let's see how that fares now Well, it's doing alright so far. It's, yeah, it's just going around that corner. It's just, it's a lot of mechanism. There you go. And that's where it stops. There's a lot of mechanism that it has to drag, and it's just, I don't know. It's not, it's not to be honest, the best of designs in my eyes. But, hmm. Right. I think I need a little bit more attention on this. Well, I definitely got it working better. It's sliding a lot better. Um, you still need to give it a little bit of a hand. It's not perfect by any means, but it hasn't been used for a long time. Um, but it's just started to rain. So <laughs> as they say, rain stops play. Um, so I really don't want to be taking the roof off and letting the rain in because that would be silly. So I think that's where we call it for today. Um, next job, I think to be honest, it's going to be probably MOT. So it may be a few days, but uh, yeah. Um, oh, actually, no, the next one, if I can, yeah, get it done in between the rain showers, um, it'll probably be buffing it up. Yes, could be interesting. Right, um, yeah, it's starting to come down now, so I'm going. Cheers, YouTube. Bye-bye.